Okay, so I mean, there's a lot of studies that are being done on the gut-brain axis, um, and one of the one of the interesting lectures that I went to about this was um, actually an Australian. Um, woman who was doing a PhD, she was a, a natu- naturopathic doctor, was doing a PhD on the actual microbes in the gut and how they inform the immune system to function. And what was absolutely f- fascinating to me was how she was describing the this uh, dendrite, basically a, a, a nerve cell, uh, which is called a dendrite. Periscopes up, I'll just put this down so I can... Explain. So you've got the gut and you've got obviously uh, the nerve endings around the external part of the gut and this is all through, uh, and through general nerve plexuses that appear in every part of the body to inform a whole heap of feedback mechanisms. Anyway, this dendrite periscopes up in- into the gut space and reads the environment. Now what was fascinating to me is that that particular nerve read the environment and that went directly to the brain to inform the body on how to respond to what was coming into the digestive system. This this was just mind-blowing to me and you can imagine that if there's something coming into the body that is considered um, a negative for the body, this dendrite immediately set up a, an inflammatory response. So if there was food that was not appropriate or allergy-based you know, food, this set up this cascade of inflammation in the body. Um, the same thing would happen if, uh, if good food or something even like herbs was coming in, it would set up the body to be receptive in a positive way to, to what was coming in into the system. Now, of course, this was also impacted by the microbes in the gut because there was a whole relationship between how healthy the microbiome and how effective that periscope me- mechanism was actually working. And that was the basis of her, of her PhD. Um, I obviously don't have the ins and outs right in front of me, but it was just a fascinating lecture. So I do feel there is a, a great relationship there. And I also see... That as affecting, uh, and I, this is another series of, of sets of readings that I've done about the nervous system and how it affects our, us in, in terms of our brain and our, our depression, animals as well. Um, sleeping better, if you can sleep better, that's that can be affected by your gut um, microbes. So sleeping well is really important to, for the body to be able to rest and detox well and also repair. So... You know, and I've proven it to myself that if I'm if I'm not well and I give myself something as simple as a probiotic, I sleep a lot better. So these are things that you can sort of experiment with, experiment with uh, with yourself and also with your animal to see if there is going to be an improvement there. So, and I would certainly recommend that as part of what we're trying. To do.